Oh, good morning. Ah, sold bales. So the feeding place is empty again. <laughs> hey, uh, welcome back to Richlands, Ohio in the Ohio farm. It's January to mid-January. I'm up at 8. I was, I was debating whether to sleep in until 9. But because it's winter time... We have limited daylight available to us, so I figure ah, I better not waste it. Uh, PSC in the upper right, we're up over a million dollars. Last episode, we sold some. I don't have a full honey pallet. Nope. We sold some. Uh, products I think the last the flour that we had produced and we went up over a million dollars I was curious and I went back and I looked and I looked at the last six ashes episode that I posted online in Farming Simulator 19. And I was over a million, actually. I think it was the last trophy I needed to get in FS19 was, uh, the, well, the last trophy so that I could get the completionist trophy in FS19 would have been the one where you get 10 million in in-game currency and I was working towards that so I have been over a million dollars before in farming simulator but not in uh, not in FS22 so my hay wagons out here because I took all that hay over yesterday and I put it into the uh, container the shipping container over in the container field but if you look in the shed where I had it parked and we're almost out of straw bales you see I have an Iseki tractor it came up used I think I only paid about $25,000 for it I'll throw the screen up if I can if I remember to I know I've said I'd do that before and I've forgotten and you're probably saying well why'd you do that it's got enough horsepower to run the feed mixer. Wow, I do not have pallets today. That's crazy. I don't have a lot of pallets to move around. I know I'm, I do have a bread pallet. I'm out of bread over in the store and I'm almost out of flour. So I know, need to go get some of that. I'm almost out of sugar over here. So I need to do that too. Well, I got four pallets here. So while I don't have eggs, which is kind of weird, I do have enough to make it worthwhile to open the doors on the truck, so the reefer truck, so we'll do that. And I've been kicking around the idea of putting in a biogas plant. Because I have all this silage. I mean, it's one of the reasons I put in the uh, the sell everything container, so I could sell straw bales. Because there's no place to sell straw bales on this map. And then the other kind of I don't want to say complaint, but my critique about this map is you can't buy some of the land areas that aren't fields, so it makes it hard to put in productions or customize the map without giving up field area and the other thing I just I shouldn't complain about the fact that there's micro terrain 
but it's just not flat over here. And it's looking again. About putting in that old cow barn. It's so big and got a pasture. I just can't get it in here without it really messing up the the ground. So, ah. Uh, and I keep thinking I can put pig food in here, but there's really no space because it splits the pig food between the base food and the root crop and the different categories of food. And so I see space where it says base food, but the total capacity is already maxed out. So I don't know. Um, quickly run through the morning routine here. started snowing while we were doing all that. That's nice. It's nice. I don't know if it'll accumulate. You know how it is here on the uh, Ohio farm. It doesn't seem to accumulate uh, often. So I switched the weight. I was talking about this yesterday or in the last episode which was well yesterday in the game but not yesterday in real life. So this one's got this you know, pin on the back. So, whereas I used to have to drop the other weight off every time I would get the little milk trailer and stuff and then have to put it back, remember to put it back on before doing something else. Now I don't have to do that. So, I think that's good. A good compromise. <laughs> it's not nice and red like the other one and match the tractor and doesn't get lost easily, but okay, so... We'll probably have eggs later, but we'll go ahead and take this over to the farm shop because I know it's it's out of some things. It's funny as I was putting this stuff in, I was like, "This is my bread and butter." Because I put it first thing I put in was a butter pellet, then the next thing I put in was a bread pellet, bread and butter. <laughs> Cracked myself up. All right. So we got bread, butter, cheese and chocolate, and maple syrup. So as usual, 
Even though I don't have anything on top of the maple syrup palette, we'll just go ahead and deliver the maple syrup first. $674. Uh, deliver the rest of the stuff here. Let me hop out. I know I need to activate bread. Probably cheese, too. Let's see. Bread. Cheese. We're, now we're out of eggs. Now we're out of honey. Yeah. Um, chocolate. I can turn the chocolate back on. I can bring milk over. I think we're going to start producing more milk than uh, we can process at the dairy. So we could start selling off excess milk. Let me drum over here so I can get to the uh, bread pellets when they come out. Does this keep turning? <laughs> it seems like it keeps turning more and more to the right. I swear when I put it in it was uh, face them that way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, we're... Oh, there's 2,654. That's not bad. I know the... This dairy was running low on sugar. So we should get some of that. No, oh, it's out of sugar. Okay. <laughs> so not only is it running low, it's out. I think the other day when I was looking in here, I was talking about getting rid of the 60 month old cows. I don't need to do that. I just need to make space in the self-made cow shed because it'll only hold whatever it'll hold, 45 cows or something like that. And it's full right now. Let's see, I got 1409 in here. Um, yeah, these six cows are at 90%. Um, reproduction and those six are at 80 uh, what do I have in here I got I can move those three yeah I could remove the young ones out of there yeah see it's only holds 45 so I got to make space by taking six cows out of there so those six can reproduce and then I'll need to take those six calves out of there before the next month so the other six can reproduce. And then over here, I still got room, I think. 45 to 60. I got room for 15 more. So after those 12, then I'll be... Then I'll be... Uh, maxed out in here. Well, no, not quite. I'll have room for three more. And then this is the free range cow pasture. So I've got milk in here. I'll take the milk out of here. It's because these guys are 18 months. They're producing milk. These 14 month olds might also. What I'll do is I'll take the milk out of here and I'll put it over in the dairy. Dairy. Farm shop. I think we could probably do that. We'll just put... CSZ pack. <laughs> As Mr. Sealy P calls it. Get that extra view. Point this way. We'll go this way. Get that extra view as you uh, go through of the forks. I, I just don't, I don't like it. <laughs> Comes in handy sometimes. Most of the time, I don't like it. Um, 
Oh, so I was saying we can put one little tanker load into the dairy, farm dairy, and then we could put the, the other little tanker load into the farm shop. I wonder how quickly it would go through the 2,000 meters. Let me open the far end here. You can just pull up, fill up, and then get out. Something needs work. I think right around here is a trigger. It'd help if I push the right button. That's the trigger. Okay. down pretty good now. I don't know. This might be enough to accumulate. Remember when it first started? It was just kind of a, like a light flurry. Now we seem to be having like actual snowfall. Which could complicate things if if we do get accumulation it might be difficult to uh, be scooping silage off of the out of the bunker silo. Let's go ahead and deliver that milk. And then we'll turn it on here. If I remember, it's down toward the bottom. Milk. There it is. So now we should have milk on the shelf. So butter. Potatoes, flour, sugar, bread, canola oil. I think that's more butter. I think that's chocolate. Potatoes, cheese. Where's the milk at? Is it like a little refrigerator? Where? Oh, want it? This might be milk. That might be butter. And that might be chocolate, because they're all different, right? They're all dairy products. Let's see how they're slightly different. So maybe that's milk. Maybe that's cheese. Maybe that's chocolate there. Because they're like, they're stacked three high. They're in a little kind of plastic crate. And then these are bigger, like the boxes. And those look like chocolate bars there. Alright. <laughs> anyway, got milk in there now. So I think what we'll do is we'll drop this off the best way to do it is here. go around this way. Oh, I put some bedding in yesterday. Brought up another straw bale there for more bedding. Pull through and drop it. Right there. What else did I do? I did something else. I grabbed that pig food bag and I brought it over here, put it in the building. Oh, and the uh, the bales at the container field. So, let's see. Let's head over to the general mill. We will we'll load up the silage boss with silage out of the stave silo. I'm just hitting the wrong buttons like crazy today. What button is it? <laughs> That's view. Oh, that one. I hit the I hit the L1 and the 
L3 at the same time, which brings up the mini map. I wanted to just hit the L3. Also, I was saying, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll fill this up with salvage and we'll take it to the sell everything and sell it. The price for silage is going down, but it's pretty good still. And we have all this silage, so more than we need. Sell everything container. Not sure how much we get for this. So this map doesn't have a biogas plant. That would be a good place to sell silage as well. like to put one in but it's just I don't know because of what I said earlier about you know you you only have the fields that's why we got kind of the sell everything container over in this field here so I moved the container when it was empty back over closer to the field again like it used to be and then I moved the bales over here so they're stacked in here neatly at the moment <laughs> We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, yeah, that took a little time. But, yeah. Maintain the peace with the psycho deer. So I thought maybe about trying to put a biogas plant in over near the old general mill. It's so crowded, I don't know. Now would be the time to do it, now that we have over a hundred, uh, million dollars. And I'm sure we'll make quite a bit more selling silage. And we can part, start putting the silage into the biogas plant make even more money so I was thinking maybe right outside the fence here to this side it's possible how you would get access to it I don't know Put in the maybe the single gate like we used to have here before we change it to the double gate. But we're not gonna get through with the big truck. But maybe we can put a single gate so he can pull through here. Maybe put it, it's fairly flat right on the other side here. There's a little bit of space there. Mm 
the other option would be to maybe put it out the back. Uh, we'd have to maybe take out a tree or two and put it out back. It's not as flat there. And then another option might be up over on this side between here and uh, Ohio Agri Co-op on the top but it's like rising ground going up to it so it's just when you place placeables sometimes they do things to the ground that you don't anticipate or don't necessarily expect so I'm not sure oh I should have brought the pickup right I wanted to get some sugar and fly. I could take the truck. I could take this truck, I suppose. this side down. There we go. I think I, I'll take a couple of sugar pellets for the uh, for the dairy and then maybe grab a, a flour pallet or two for the bakery. Uh, operating my forklift. Here's deer. Careful. There we go. The sugar pallets are just almost too big. Probably ought to just put some big food on here while I'm here. got to put the sugar at the front but I guess I'll, I'll load it from the side I'll put two sugar pallets on this side and put the two flower pallets on on the other bags of pig feed. I don't know how 
allow me to grab here. Let's just grab two. Oh yeah. Two would be the way to do it. keep forgetting I can move my I can move it without having to reposition the whole forklift to try and line it up straighter when I don't do a good job keep forgetting to do that I can do that Let's see should I grab the other one off the bottom So I got my steering like turned down so I don't make too abrupt of movements, but that it's not working out so good for me here. <laughs> so like I can do what is it? It's not that one. I don't have to reposition the whole forklift. What am I doing here? There we go. Put it down. Put it back in the middle where it's supposed to be. Or more in the middle. Let's get it on the forks a little better quite that far. Right there. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet you're enjoying this, right? Is this what you wanted to see? More pallet handling? It's winter time. Okay, well, 
me to do? What did it hit? How is it... How is it pushing the sugar pallet? That's weird. The way the collisions were happening there. I don't know. We get two more bags of pig feed while we're here. And then we'll take this stuff over to the west place. And think about whether we want to unblanket that silo or not. Take the... Uh, take the idea liner trailer over there and start filling it up with silage and do a silage sell off at the at the sell everything what are we gonna do doing man my depth perception in this game sometimes is incredible I can't see see this where this is where that view from the CSC pack is useful am I too high am I too low what am I doing why can't I get that bag on there one at a time if that's what I gotta do I guess I could spend the next hour fiddling around trying to hook that bag or I could just come over here and do them one at a time I'll probably end up loading them on here quicker if I do it this way. I'm going to get this bag. I tell you, I'm going to get it. Gosh, I'm like way off. Ooh. Maybe if I do it from this view. Yeah. <laughs> Just high enough to get out the door. Take that pig feed. Come on, strap me. Where are the straps? There's one there. I know there's one right in here. I got him. <laughs> Put my jacket back on. And oh, the engine. I thought 
thought I had the engine on. Thought I left it running. I guess I didn't. West place. I don't know where the best place to park is to be able to offload this. I'm going to come here so I can access it from both sides, I think. Should get the telehandler out, but I don't want to have to move the baler and everything. That'd be the tool to use, but we'll use a front loader. Did you watch me mess around for like 15 minutes when I was loading these pallets in? So I imagine you probably don't want to watch me uh, spend another 15 minutes unloading them at real time. So see if we can do a quick little time lapse while we unload this. Last pallet on the offload. We'll get it loaded into the bakery here, the flour. Tell you what, I was a little concerned about offloading the pig feed. We were like right at the limit of the height of this front loader. And also probably right at the limit of the weight that we had when we went over with the first two bags. We were going a little fast, turned a little sharp, and uh, I think the rear wheels lifted off the ground a little bit. So, yeah, it was uh, scary for a second. Okay, so we're offloaded. Side back on. All right. Um, we turn the chocolate back on. Here's another thing that's unique to the farm dairy: is 
you can put raw milk in here. What it does, it doesn't actually produce raw milk, but it sells raw milk. I don't know which price is going to be better. The price for the raw milk in the farm dairy or the price for selling milk at the farm shop. Because the... Uh, the visual representation of the milk is not so very different. Like if it was like bottles of milk or something like that, it'd be really cool. But since all the dairy products are kind of the butter, the chocolate, the milk all look so alike. I think what we'll do is we'll just start in the future. We'll just start putting all the milk into the farm dairy and we'll turn on the raw milk as well and then it'll sell the raw milk out of there so I don't know we, we should unblanket this and start clearing this out which means I should bring the idea liner trailer back uh, I'm I am concerned about snow accumulating which would possibly cause problems with picking up you know product from the ground because snow might get into it but I think we might be okay I think normally these approaches a lot of times a lot of placeables have like an area around them that the snow doesn't accumulate so we'd probably be all right and in FS22 I haven't seen as much of a problem with the snow getting into the trailers I haven't experienced it too much it used to happen in 19 quite a bit but so it's 1130 now what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna leave you here because we don't have a whole lot of time left in the episode I'm gonna take the truck I'm gonna go to the house I'm gonna have lunch after lunch I'll go out to the old general mill I'll switch the cab over truck to the idea liner trailer and I'll bring it back over here and we'll start loading up silage into that idea liner trailer and I will think about possibly putting in a biogas plant but I don't think we're gonna be able to use that idea liner trailer to get to it but we can certainly sell silage uh, utilizing that and get get quite a bit of money I imagine so let me hop in the truck I'm gonna go have lunch and I'll see you probably around one o'clock or so <laughs> Depends on, yeah Probably around 1 o'clock, or I'll have lunch till 1, then I'll go get the trailer, and then, yeah, I'll see you back here. I'll see you back here in a bit. Wait for that guy to clear the driveway here. It's, uh, what? Almost 120 now. got the uh, idea liner trailer here. The idea is we're going to fill this with silage. It's only like 10 minutes left in the episode, so what I wanted to do, I was I was thinking of unblanketing the uh, bunker here and loading it up. I'd have to do a time lapse, I imagine, with the wheel loader to, to load it be able to fill it in, fit it, <laughs> fill it in, well, fill it, and also uh, fit it into the episode. So then I was thinking, uh, if you look up in the upper right hand corner, I was busy over lunch, uh, I did put in a biogas plant. It's not completely the way I want it, but it, I need to just do some more tweaking, I think. How much do we still have in here? I got 283,000, so... 
rather than get the wheel loader out, because I'm going to have to move the baler, get the wheel loader out, unblank it, load it, all that. I think what I'll do is, do I have enough room to get over here? I think so. I'll just bring the idea liner over here, we'll fill it up, and we'll go show you the biogas plant. We won't get paid for putting solids in the biogas plant, uh, but it'll pay us later as it converts it into digestate and methane and uh, electricity. So I think it'll be good. Let me get the cover off here. I'll start loading it. Kind of trying to tweak it. What is this hold? Like 80,000 or something? It's a ridiculous amount. I, know, I think the silage isn't so heavy that we got to mess with the manual gearbox like we do with the potatoes and stuff. I, I don't think so. I don't remember, to be honest. I don't think it, it was as much of a problem. And I think this will probably be more silage than we'll be able to put in our biogas plant. It's not a very big one. So anything that's left over, we can take it and sell everything. And then we'll have like a good end to the episode, I think. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if it works. Access is going to be a little challenging, I think, but I think it'll be all right. Do we hit weight? No, I think this trailer doesn't really have a max weight, so is why we have the problem with the bulk goods, the bulk potatoes and stuff. Why it fills it so much. I usually play with the whatever trailer fill limits turned on. Well, I do play with the trailer fill limits turned on. Can I close the cover? No. <laughs> so I play with trailer fill limits turned on. trailer uh, which can be problematic at times but I think I like it better when I do do that I may not get out of LL2 Oh yeah, I did. I'm in fifth. Alright, it'll be alright. So we're gonna head to the old General Mill. We put in the biogas plant right next to it, in that flat area. I was just kind of messing around over lunch. I was potentially thinking about, if it doesn't look good, I'll just uh, exit out of the game and not save it. I saved it before I started, you know, messing with placeables, which is what I highly recommend you do. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can also uh, have like a test map. So a map that, like a second save of the map you're playing on. And then you can go into that one and kind of test see what it'll look like. You don't have to worry about the potentially making a mistake and accidentally saving or something. That's why I play with the... Uh, Auto save turned off, which can come to bite you in the rear if you uh, experience a game crash. But uh, if the game crashes while you're recording video, you lose the video too, I think. So in, in my case, uh, yeah. You know, I need to go back to the last reasonable save that I didn't have video on, so that's why I play with the autosave turned off. So, I, mean, 
I think you can just see it through the trees because there's no weeds on the trees to the right. So you can see the elevators or the silo, the grain bins at uh, Ohio Agri Co-op over there. And you look to the right, you can kind of see the chimney at the old General Mill. And then to the right of that, you can see the, the twin domes of the biogas plant. decorating, maybe put in some fencing, maybe put in another road, maybe put in a building and some other decorative details, but I was having trouble. Matter of fact, I wanted to move the dumpsters that are by the loading dock right in front of the warehouse, but I can't find them. I was going to, you know, delete them and then place them to the, on the other side of the roll-up door on the warehouse, but I couldn't find them. So I think we can get in here. I tried it. Oh, gates. I'm gonna have to open the gates. Hang on. I think we should be able to get in here. So here's a here's the biogas plant, and here's the exit. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to move these dumpsters to the other side of the door. And I'm looking in my, you know, decoration other, in my build menu, and I can't find the dumpsters. I was going to just boop, boop, put them right there and then delete these two, but it's not working. So let's see if we can put the uh, silage in here out of the idea liner. I'm going to go to uh, third person so I can see a little better. I, I did try this once with the trailer. Uh, before we drove over to see if it would work we can get through here. I think we should be able to. Now it'd be nice to have a wheel loader over here and bunkers and all that kind of stuff. We don't have that. So. Ooh, I wonder if that pipe's going to be too close. We may want to come in the other way. Oh. I think we'll clear it. maybe thumbnail worthy here that's as far as we can zoom out I guess all right here it goes so this is a tipper trailer so it's gonna climb but it's gonna load that up oh okay one or two things happened it either hit that um, It either hit the pipe for the digestate or it's full. <laughs> My guess is this is probably full. It's right here. Oh, that's weird. There we go. Oh yeah, it only holds 30,000. Well, let's activate that. I guess we can go sell the rest of it. It's a tight turn. I guess it's okay those dumpsters are still there, but I would have preferred to have gotten rid of them. So let's run over to the uh, sell everything container. Sell this solid off and then we'll end the episode. jump cut over here so that we can get it unloaded before the end of the episode uh, i'll go ahead and sign off now if you enjoyed it hit that like button and if you don't subscribe yet why not it don't cost nothing see you next time oh no deer ate the bail again PlayStation.